welcome back so we are discussing some important testing tips which are not automation not bugs and they are very important like we covered many of them in the first part of this video so since it was becoming too much so i divided the video into two parts this is the second part you can watch the first part at the link in this video so let's begin <music> we have covered till here like be strong in fundamentals right we went till here now let's see what are the other things so you should focus on the quality of the process sometimes your process is wasting a lot of time right because the process will automatically take care of the product at times right you have unnecessary added so many process uh, generating so many Uh, deliverables right which are not being used nobody is looking at the reports you are generating and also it's a time waste right so uh, if you can check that if there is something wrong in the process you can improve that and that can help you uh, learning which is very important it's a lifelong process don't think that okay you become a lead and manager now you just have to fill the excel sheet so that mentality uh, will not keep you in the industry for many years right so it should be self directed itself pace journey of uh, discovery right and the purpose of learning is not to uh, arrive at a certain proficiency for example you will say okay i am an expert in excel but uh, do you know all the things like and there are new versions keep on coming and all right so people should keep on learning it's a journey that uh, never ends right so we need to keep on learning though we can be expert in certain things but the learning should never end same applies for testing as well right so as we discussed earlier also that right you are you are testing the product you are not marking the users you are not just testing the user story right you, at the end you want the users to be happy you, if the users are not happy and you are saying that all my 100 cases or 200 or 1000 cases are passed it does not uh, make any difference for the product right uh you can advertise your skill right how you can do that you can have your linkedin or even you can uh, put it on your github profile i have created a video by which you can make your github profile better so this is how my github profile looks so you can check the video and you can also make it it's very simple you need not to know any coding and all to have this things done right even you can create some notes for example this i have created in a markdown language which is very simple right so this i can share on my resume or anywhere where people can see the work that i have done right so the other advice is use tags so like in azure devops it helps a lot you can do some like in automation also those tags help like uh, a test case can belong to various categories as well right it can help in reporting as well so uh, and stay focused is one of the advice uh, i got it in one of i think uh, the testing lab where ajay conducts a session called as the testing lab where he told that uh, we should not use social media or emails right when you mix test execution with that your focus and you cannot focus on detail right and uh, it's a problem right and that's why sometimes people think that testing is easy because they are not going deep into that so just stay focused to be uh, to improve your efficiency right Uh, remove this dependency if you have the risk and all uh, risk and dependency highlighted in time you can accelerate the testing right and never limit yourself to something i am a functional tester or i am uh, this tester so that's why you see that it's late and blank testing so with the time with the increasing experience you can uh, see the other areas also like one area you can be expert but other areas you should also have uh, the knowledge of things right so this is one of the good advice right when you see that you start jumping from languages python c sharp and also check what works for you right uh, there is a t shape learning that is also recommended in agile which means that uh, you know one thing you are the deep knowledge of one thing right t is like this so you have deep knowledge of one thing but other things also you know right that's what uh, agile says actually like they want generalist not specialist right so you should be specialist in one portion and generalist for the other right and definitely we have to shift left because testing is not a phase it starts as soon as you get the requirement document or even earlier where uh, you give the estimates as well right so by that you can find uh, bugs earlier 
right you can generate high quality of code right and it would be less expensive because the earlier you find a bug it's uh, it's less costlier right and yes uh, this is eliminate waste uh, the example i was giving right you are generating some artifact some hand of documents and all which sometimes people are not reading it right but you are wasting time in creating those some test plans also right uh, sometimes some teams created just for the sake of creating it right so just find out improve your process which will eliminate the waste and uh, find your uh, growth zone like where uh, and for that firstly you have to come out of your comfort zone right you are doing one thing for 3 years just think that uh, what else you can learn right so constantly challenge yourself uh, take up new challenges participate in various contests things so that you learn some things right so which is very important and that will help you in your growth so revisit your regression suit we keep it same for uh, many years people are doing new people will join the freshers they will keep on executing without realizing whether actual user is using those things or not right so it's an important thing that you can include more things uh, with every release right and exclude some things which are no more required and no and it's not being used right and do share your experience uh, with the people right do not let uh, people assume uh, that will help you have learning when people will comment on the things that you are telling right and you should have the basics of uh, all technologies right at least you will have the high level that what it does when somebody says docker kubernetes or anything right so when you will have you can think a little more about it right you you need not to be expert but you should know about it that's what uh testers say and yeah follow good testers that you can do by joining the communities like test type test uh, the test chat or the jail testing alliance and ministry of test and there, there are many right and yeah you should try the invalid scenarios so invalid is like positive anyways you will do right but there should be some which uh end user uh, can try right some users or there could be some situations like for ex- example there is a very good tip that has been given here so for example if you don't want user to do some invalid thing you can give a tool tip right so if i say that the only allowed values are 10 to 15 right the, there is a tendency that person because the actual user is not testing your application he is using it he or she is using it right it's important to test the negative scenarios as well uh right be a passionate critic create a repo i showed you that repo could uh, not only be related to having your code but your other work as well and this helps right uh, if you have transparency in your work right uh, you set the right expectation uh, for example you don't raise the bugs on friday and you try to show your importance or uh, doing things like that which sometimes called as politics doing so stay away from all that all those things uh, share your findings take feedback on the work that you are doing with your seniors peers and juniors as well uh, right this definitely we should do go beyond what is written and this is very important because many times we get the environment which is uh, not working and it's also late so always accommodate some buffer in your estimate and keep on revising what you already know maybe you know it for 10 years but with the changing things it's no more valid or maybe in some context it might not work it might have worked for you but it's not uh, working for others right and for learning purpose uh, yes so uh, i i also follow this that if you are going to a youtube channel follow a playlist from a single channel right don't keep on jumping if you search test ng you will find 10 videos and if you watch 10 videos maybe you'll get a little extra knowledge over there but it's better to follow one playlist at a time right and uh, after doing this you can start with the courses and this is my channel in the playlist you will find some videos uh, do like this video and comment if something is missed uh there would be more advanced level tips are also there that is going to come in this series thank you for watching